Just a short video of the new Spectronet closed case, so this one, uh, not the one with the hole on top. Uh, although most people seem to like the, the one where you can see actually see the RJ45 connector. Uh, but this one only has a hole on the side for that um, Ethernet cable, uh, and you can see it's, it's a bit higher than the other one. Uh, well, maybe you can because you haven't compared it, of course, but I, I know because I uh, upped it about 3mm, so it's high enough to cover the, the EJ, uh, RJ45 connector. Anyway, um, the most important, of course, is uh, will this prototype case fit the Spectrum in the face? So let's check that out. So here we are. Um, we have the Spectrum in the face here. It fits in well. It's not different from the other uh, cutout case. Um, there's a space on all sides. So that's not a problem at all. Uh, the bottom, let's put it under this uh, torn sticker because I removed the feet that I put on the. Uh, Spectronet interfaces without case, um, but it will, this will go just over it, and you can see you can reach the jumpers here easily, and all the uh, labels for the jumpers are on the bottom part of the case as well. So, and of course, when you pin it black, um, it's more easy to read the text here, the internet text, but it's uh, sharp enough to read it. Um, so you can see the edge connector at the, at the back is still available. The the one at the front is available. The RJ45 socket is available. And the only thing I have to change is the I have to use a, a tactile switch that is three millimeter higher because the case is three millimeters higher, but it's easy. And of course, there are still the three holes for the light guides, so you can see the LEDs from the top of the case. And there will be a, a blue um, NMI uh, button cap on it. Uh, all right, so it's still the same uh, uh, kind of design. Uh, so you can see the toe strap uh, heatsink stripes on the side and the plus stripes on the uh, top of the case. I like this design a lot. It uh, looks great on these interfaces. And of course now the, the question is, would it fit nicely on the ZX Spectrum? So let's plug it in. This is uh, I'm doing this by one hand, so yep, it goes in well. And let's see if the cable fits. Um, I didn't close the case, but the case is sitting on top of the board. And you can see uh, you can still reach the, the handle here from the RJ45 connector on the Ethernet cable. So that's a good thing. Um, I think it's really, really awesome, um, this design, and uh, of course the Spectrum interface by Dylan Smith itself, so I really used his design completely. So this will fit very nicely, and of course I have to paint it. This, this doesn't look great on a black static Spectrum, you know? So uh, I know you people have been waiting long enough, and this case, um, this version of the Spectrum interface with the closed case will be available from uh, 1 September, I think. Um, because I have to order the first batch of cases now, and uh, the, these one, the, the first batch will go to the people who've ordered the ones from the uh, first pre-sale batch, um, which will be available at 1 September. Um, so I'm doing my best to get all the uh, Spectronets ready for the release dates I, uh, I promised. Um, so I'll just keep going, going on here, and I will see you in the next video. So bye.